International flavor again has Gonzaga thriving near top of college basketball landscape, Spokane, Washington, Rui Hikimura insists it's true, and Tommy Lloyd swears it's not. The question was simple, how many languages does Lloyd, the Gonzaga men's basketball assistant tasked with recruiting internationally, know how to speak? Hikimura, the 6'8 sophomore forward from Doyama, Japan found Gonzaga intriguing because of the Bulldogs long history of developing international bigs, plus he liked that Lloyd, the GU assistant tasked with international recruiting, knew a lot about Japan. Tommy speaks a little bit of Japanese, he likes Japanese culture, he knew about sumo wrestling and he loves Japanese food, Hakimura told USA Today Sports. Bractology, Kansas and Xavier leapfrog Purdue and Auburn as number one seeds within watch. Xavier's Bliot, Ohio State's Bates Diop shake up top five Lloyd waves off the bilingual claim. I can say, Erigatu which means thank you but that's it, he insisted. It's understandable why outsiders would question him. In almost two decades at Gonzaga, Lloyd has brought in players from Japan to France to Poland to Germany to Lithuania. Multiple programs recruit internationally, but the Bulldogs have corned the market on it. Once a cute Cinderella story, the Zags have grown into a mid-major powerhouse, in part because of their love of overseas projects. About 17 years ago, when Lloyd joined head coach Mark Few's staff, Few told Lloyd he needed to find his own recruiting niche, something that would set him apart from every other college basketball assistant trying to find the next All-American. So Lloyd who's been hooked on traveling since his sophomore year of high school after a trip to Sweden and the Netherlands, hopped on a plane. I've always tried to look at our international recruits as our opportunity to get McDonald's All-America caliber players, for sure, Lloyd said. The Zag's first real international star was Ronnie Toriev, the 2005 West Coast Conference Player of the Year, who hailed from France. Since then, Lloyd's brought a slew of international players to the Jesuit school in eastern Washington. All this recruiting success across oceans, and Lloyd swears he only speaks two languages, regular English and broken English. Last season, 7-foot-1 center Przemek Karnowski played a key role in helping Gonzaga advance to its first Final Four. This year, the Zags again have an international feel with Hakimura. Killian Tilly from France and Joel Ie and Jacob Larson of Denmark. The way Gonzaga plays is a really good fit for European players, explained Tilly, who averages 12.2 points and 6.2 rebounds per game for the number 11 Zags, 21-4, who travel to number 12 St. Mary's on Saturday. The Gales, 23-2, have an international big of their own in 6'11 Australian centre Jock Lawndale who averages a double-double, 22.8 points, 10.8 rebounds, and is likely to win WCC Player of the Year honors. They like the high-low here, Tilly said. Everyone, an American, wants to be a guard, that's true, but over there, in Europe, we play more with the bigs, and that's like Gonzaga. Tilly always knew he'd wind up in the States, his oldest brother Kim, now 29 played basketball at Utah and Kevine, now 27, won back-to-back -back NCAA volleyball titles at a Kervine. Their father, Laurent, competed in the 1988 and 1992 Olympics for the French national volleyball team and their mother, Carolina, capturing the Netherlands volleyball team. Lloyd estimates he takes two or three international trips a year to scout players. Some college staffs have a protocol where the head coach has to see a prospect play in person before the school will offer him. Few doesn't believe in that. You take one look at Sabinus on tape and it's like yeah, we'll take him, Few laughed. But there's a comfort level, for kids, too. I'll go over there when needed, but Tommy does the bulk of it. When international players come for official visits. The staff will sometimes reach out to a foreign language professor on Gonzaga's campus if they need help translating. Coaches don't feel the need to totally recreate a foreign culture in Spokane, though Rui will sometimes go over to Lloyd's house for sushi. To be honest, most of these kids that come to the States have a real yearning for the American culture, Lloyd said. 
they're excited and intrigued by that, and looking forward to making a change. Hakimura is the Zags' most intriguing international player. A former baseball pitcher and catcher, he did not participate in martial arts at a competitive level, and jokes that his sumo wrestling experience was limited to playing outside with friends, despite the stereotypes that it's something all Japanese kids want to do. Coaxed by a friend into playing hoops, Hakimura caught the eye of international recruiters after the FIBA U-17 World Championships in Dubai in August 2014, where he averaged a tournament-best 22.1 points per game. He picked Gonzaga over offers from Arizona, St. John's, LSU and Vanderbilt, among others. Despite inconsistency, he averages 11.1 points and 4.4 rebounds off the bench but can disappear in big moments. Hakimura is already a certifiable rock star in Japan. Multiple Japanese reporters have traveled to Spokane to profile him, with a Tokyo station compiling a 12-minute video where the letters NBA were plastered across the screen in almost every shot. There has only been one Japanese national in the NBA, Yuta Tabuse, who played just four games with the Phoenix Suns. I wish everybody, fans, media even us coaches at times, could remember the sacrifices these guys made, few said. This isn't just going from California or Texas or somewhere out of state. You're leaving family, friends, culture and you're totally immersing yourself in this. I'm always pushing and poking and prodding these guys and you know, I couldn't have done it, gone to another country. There's no way. International players over the years have raved about how Spokane has embraced them. Few and Lloyd see that, too, and know they've built a program where kids not only feel at home, but where fans are always ready to open their arms to the next international prospect. Said Lloyd, when they come in, fans always want to know, who's next. Images from the week in college basketball.